What can I get for you, miss? I got beef. I can see that. Hey! Hey! Let's not waste either of our time. I'm a Catholic. Boy, ain't that what confession's for? You can't date someone who isn't baptized. I thought you was gonna say Hispanic. Where's the water? I'll do it now. I know I'm not what you used to. And not what you deserve either. Hello, Bye. Teresa. How are you doing? Hi, Jamal. Thank you for waiting for me. <laughs> well, um, I, I gotta ask, like, you've... It's been 15 years that you've been on screen since Border Town. And I want to know, like, <laughs> as an actress, how do you feel like you've grown? How are you different from your role in Border Town to now as an actor? Mm. I'm a different, I'm a different person, completely different person. Uh, I think when I was, when I did Border Town, I had a lot of innocence. I had a lot of like the purity of when you, of when you start out. And I had a lot of luck because I started working very, just very fast from Border Town. I did uh, Viaje Redondo, then I did, that, and then I started working with, with great filmmakers right away. Uh, I won an, I won all these awards when I was 17, 18, and then I hit a, a roof, you know, very early. And I felt like I was repeating myself, and I didn't know why because it had gone so fast. And that's and I left. I just I quit acting for like five, six years, and I went to study at the actor's studio with Martin Landau, and it was the last time. It was like the last of the great teachers. Penny Allen was there, and and Stel Parsons was there, and Al Pacino would come and and talk to us. So that kind of revamped me, and uh, and then I went back to work with a series called Aquí en la Tierra, right before Narcos. So um, it's been 15 years since my first movie, but uh, I've I, I did take take a long break to go back to school and 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 re understand who I was as an art as an actor. I love this role and uh, it brings me to my next question. I mean, cause this is, this is different. And I love seeing uh, uh, actors of Mexican descent play stuff outside of uh, drug cartels. No knock to your, your role as the queen of cocaine and narcos, which was a great role. But do you mm -hmm. think that, the, that there's a stigma that's created by all of the portrayal of Mexican Mexico as just drug cartel kind of stories. And there's, a, there's, I believe there's Acapulco that came out on Apple TV that was a different story. But do you think that cinema has reflected Mexico in a way that makes a stigma for some Americans? Well, I think the cinema of my country, the cinema of Mexico is a social cinema. It's a cinema in which we, uh, what what is it called, retrata, like we, we portray a moment in our in our time and so when all this cartel uh, stories were being made it was a necessity for us to record that moment in time in our country because before that I did a lot of things that had to do with the governments and the politics and the killing of students because that was what needed to be recorded so for for Mexican cinema I think that's why we do it and then the world thinks it's cool and they start repeating it and then that's the part where it gets a little bit like not necessary <laughs> but I feel like at least a lot of the filmmakers that I've spoken to in Mexico the, the really great filmmakers they're past that I think we are all past that and we are now looking for other stories that we are portraying we're looking for other themes that that will eventually tell the story of of Mexico for example, I am gonna give up chocolate. Hey, you guys should protest. You need sweetening. <laughs> yeah, pick something else. Well, what are you gonna give up, Stu? Me? Uh, I was thinking maybe you guys, so I could sleep in on Sundays. No! All right, all right. Alcohol. Hey, that's not fair. You gotta pick something good that you'll miss to make it count. I like this kid. <laughs> um, Catholicism is very big in, in Mexico, I'm, 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 at least from my perspective, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, was it? Yeah, the, like, the what are very big? Catholicism, the, the Catholic Church. Oh, Catholicism, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so when you, when you took on this role, I'm, I'm sure you had like a lot more, I'm guessing you had a lot more familiarity 
with the Catholic Church than maybe a lot of people? Did it help you portray this role at all? Yeah, for sure. I grew up with, my mother is indigenous Zapotec. Uh, so she's not Catholic per se, but she has an incredible faith. And we prayed every night. So I grew up knowing that there was a, a higher force, a higher power that will guide me, that will take my hand. Uh, I started acting when I was very young and, and, you know, I was kind of left alone in different countries and it, literally my mother would just pray that I would be okay. So I grew up with this certainty that, that I would be okay. And I think that helped me portray the part, but also it was written in that this girl, this Mexican girl had this faith and generosity and light to her. And I wanted to bring um, that because my my community my and my country, we are kind, we are generous, we are beautiful. So we, I wanted to bring that onto like massive audiences. That's what's very, gives me a lot of pride to share. Yeah, well, Teresa, I can see the light from this Zoom screen coming through you. And I, I can't wait thank to see you. all the <laughs> actors that you play. Uh, thank you for your time. And uh, thank I'll, you. I'll, be, I'll be a fan looking at all your projects going forward. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. Thank you.